My dad makes a lot of smart remarks at this time, so be prepared. <laughs> How do you know? Better put some more fingers up. Sixteen. Big. Big? You are a big little boy. Little bit. Little bit? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. You're getting bigger every day, aren't you? Yes. I'm nice. Nice, yeah, I bet you're nice. A jerk. Unique. Intelligent. Daring. Spontaneous. You had to think about that. That's irony. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Indecisive. I think I'm a little bit more decisive than anything, but I don't know. <laughs> that, yeah, that's me and indecisive right there. What do you think everybody should do to make the world a better place? Be careful. Huh? Be careful. Be careful? Yeah, I think everybody be careful. My, uh, my friends. All your friends? Yes. All your friends are careful? Yes. I would ask them to clean up my mess. Clean up your mess? Right. It would help out a lot. It would probably take about that many people. Yeah. To do what I say. <laughs> be nice to the environment, not litter and all that. Cut, when you cut down a tree, you plant some more seeds to keep trees growing and all that. Be nice to old people, be respectful, don't do drugs, don't smoke. <sighs> Have a lot more. Should I keep going? Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Don't be stupid. It solves every issue. People work better at their jobs and not lay on their butts and get money. Apply themselves at work, I like that. Tell me about the kind of grown-up you're going to be. What kind of what kind of man is Corbin Stanford going to be? Um, I'd be a good father. A good father? I bet you will be. Does good on his bills. Pays his bills. That's right. And saves up money. Saves he money. Can go on adventures. So he can go on adventures. I think you're going to be all right, man. Like you. Hey, brown nose me, aren't you? Want to be a responsible man that everybody can depend on. That sounds practiced. That's a good answer, though. Well, I don't know my adult self. <laughs> what kind of person do you hope to be in one word? Happy and successful. <laughs> what do you think the uh, best thing about being an adult is? You can tell your kids what to do. Like little slaves, right? Money. <laughs> Maybe lifelong friends. Grown up doesn't seem very fun. <laughs> Being able to buy your own things. Being out of school and parents being off my back. That's going to be great. Can't nag at me for it anymore. Can you remember the last time I nagged at you? Last time I was over here. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done it today. What do you think the worst thing about being a grown-up is? Mm, I don't know. You can't think of anything that's hard about being a grown-up. You think being a grown-up is just easy, huh? You have to work hard. Bills. <laughs> lots and lots of responsibilities. Work. <laughs> Making sure I'll be able to pay all my bills and having to not worry about that, hopefully. What are you going to be when you grow up? Big. You're going to be big? Yes. What are you going to do when you go to work? Rock. Rock? 
You're going to be big and rock. Work on stuff. Oh, work on stuff? Yeah, like cars and things like that. That'll be fun. Sure. A doctor of wells and monkeys. Peace, man. Well, I haven't really decided on that yet. Mm. I want to be a physicist. Have not decided. Become a pilot. 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 Work a lot and work towards being a pilot. What, what does Daddy say all the time? Do I say be tough? Yes. Huh? Do yes. I say suck it up? Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's right. Close the door. You love me? Yeah, I do love you. Don't break your heart. Be a good man. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Before I get on to you, I say I'm trying to be nice, but. Do you have your school clothes? Do you have all your assignments done? And so on. Come on, man. Help me out. Corbin. It's every time. <laughs> I did something. What's the most important thing I've taught you that really helps you? To do good on um, my allowance. Good job. Manage that money, right? To work hard. Be a good friend and be a nice man. To be respectful. Responsibility. Don't do anything stupid. I don't know. There's a thousand things. What's the team most important then? <laughs> now I gotta think of two instead of one. See what you get. That's the most important thing I've taught you about finance. Crunch the numbers. It's the most important thing I've taught you about being a friend. Be a good friend. Work at it. That's right. What's the one thing that I do that really gets on your nerves? Mostly giving me spankings. Spankings? What was that? Huh? Getting mad at you? When was the last time I gave you a spanking? Uh, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can't think of anything? No. I never get on your nerves. This is your one time of year to tell me. Nothing really. Been a pretty good dad. Pretty good. Is that like a B or a C minus? You've been a pretty good kid, too. Thank you. What grade am I? Mm, D minus. I'm a D minus. That's pretty good. Probably this side. Because <laughs> it makes me mad. Because it's like a disappointing side. But it also makes me laugh in the inside side. Is it a disappointing side or is it a I'm sorry I brought you into this world side? I don't know. <laughs> I've actually debated that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Traps me in the car when you are mad and yell at me when I have nowhere to go. By design. Hmm. Just a few things. <laughs> um, trapping me in the car and having a conversation with me. I hate that. Are there any cute little girls at school? Yes. There are. How many? Lots. Lots? Yes. <laughs> you like them? There's many. There's five cute girls at school? Man, you've got a good class. Miss Hornback, what do you think about her? Um, she's pretty. She's pretty? I heard you got a kiss today because you got your head bumped. You gonna bump your head again tomorrow? <laughs> no! Ashley. Ashley, is she your girlfriend now? No. No? You think she might be sometime? You gonna ask her? Or you gonna wait her to ask, wait on her to ask you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cassidy and Julia. Cassidy and Julia. I only have one crush, and it's London. You uh, you told her you had a crush on her today, didn't you? Yeah. August 9th, two thousand fourteen. Never forget that date. There's a couple girls in our friend group. No one I like. What's the girl situation? You got any girls you're talking to you right now? No, I'm gonna get my life together before I worry about one of them. Smart move. How old are you gonna be when you get married? Two. Two? You're already three, man. Probably 22. I guess I'm gonna be a 
guess around it between 25 and 35. Depends when I find the right girl. Andre. <laughs> Definitely a few years. It. I don't know age. It's just when I have my life up and running, and when they spend all your money, I can afford that. Smart. <laughs> Tell me about your uh, wife that you're going to have someday. Blonde hair and stuff. Blonde hair and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Do uh, Julia or uh, Cassidy have blonde hair? Yeah. Pretty and smart. I can't really tell because there's like a lot of hair in this. Either that or you just don't care. Pretty, blonde hair, blue eyes, few freckles. Very specific. Understanding. <laughs> yeah, I'll suck at that. Someone that's actually fun to be around. And then, that's not mean to me. Or crazy. That's about it. Sane. You just want a sane woman. What's the worst thing about being a kid? Getting spankings. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten any spankings recently? Not, nah, not that much this year. That's good. That means you're getting better, right? Or you think mom and dad are just getting tired? Tired. You get beaten. <laughs> you get yelled at and you don't really get to make big decisions for yourself. Nobody listens to you. What'd you say? Nobody listens. To I'm you. sorry. Stood by that one for I don't know how many years. Nobody listens to me. What'd you say? Nobody listens to me. I'm sorry. I'm being nagged at by your parents. You know we do it just because we love you, right? That's what y'all say. Want the best for you. What's the best thing about being a little boy? Yeah, big trucks. You get to play with big trucks? Yeah. Being good? Yep. Helping mom. Going out with my family. You don't get to work and you get free money. Free money? You guys work for your allowance. You have to be good kids, right? Yeah. Like you get to basically you learn every new, something new every time. Every day and learn lessons. That you don't have to do a whole bunch of work. Little responsibility. Mm, you don't have any responsibilities, really. Metabolism. No responsibility, but not really anymore because I have a job. It's hard work, but fun, I guess. Best thing about age right now is the money I'm getting. <laughs> you saving up? I am. What are you saving for? A car, a house few things. So, uh, you ready for these interviews to be over? Yeah. Thanks for cooperating. See ya. See you on the grandkids videos. We're gonna we're gonna watch this someday. I wanna uh, you wanna see what kind of little boy you were and what you were thinking about. What do you think about these days? I if he took me out to my ice cream, I would um, eat chocolate ice cream. <laughs> All right, we'll have to do that real soon. Mom and I love you very much. We're real proud of you. You're a sharp kid, tough as nails, <laughs> right? And you're gonna be a good man. I love you very much. Yeah, you can get out of the chair now. <laughs> How about that ice cream, dude? It's pretty good. Since I have you in the car, I do have a couple of important but uncomfortable topics to discuss.